today we're currently uh, filming our egg life series. It's kicked off, well, we've been filming now for a couple of weeks. It always takes a couple of weeks extra um, at the start, <clears throat> just solely because you're, you're out, you're doing the initial meet and greet, see whether or not they're suitable, um, explain to them what's kind of, what's expected of them and what we kind of do. So, uh, we come to a farm, uh, Stephen and Sandra are the two that are on this farm here. You'll meet them uh, whenever their introduction video, or probably by the time this goes out, they'll already be out. Their introduction video, and it's a beef farm. So, quite a nice setup actually. It's between Carrick and Lorne. And as you can see, anytime I've been up here, like just take a look at the the weather is crazy. Uh, rain or wind. Like the wind up here is atrocious. We come up the other day and it was it would have blew you away. And five minutes down the road it's completely fine, but that's the nature of uh, Northern Irish farms. Yeah, oh. Hello Peter. Hi. Hi, will you be here for two then? Yeah. Uh, that's alright, it's just uh, these other guys is here and uh, they're set up here and that, that's fine. As long as you're going to be here too then I can let them know that rather than then we're in if you're going ashore or not. <laughs> right, that'll do fine. Okay, no Thanks, no. right, alright, bye bye. See, capturing this on camera is, that is perfect because this is what we're faced with every day. You know, you go out on the farm and one boy said, and it's no fault of that guy's went to another farm oh, and, I, and something's happened and he's pulled into something or he's met someone and it's like, you know, but it's not too bad, it's an hour and a half away, so we just take an extended lunch. Huh? Oh, Back here. Oh, her all about there, man, I hate it. I'm just knocking about. You stay kind of, uh, not as far as you can, but just you get behind it because I'd be walking with a gimbal. Uh huh. You know, um, if we're up this end, if we're bringing cattle around, if you just stay trying to get out of sight. Stay away, out of the way of cattle and out of the way of us. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the nicest of these are here. So today it's just about capturing this boys up for uh, trimming feet. So the guys are pulling the cattle out. I'm setting up my gimbal, which isn't playing ball right now, but... Here we go, when you're ready to set up a shot, like... Where did you come from, Peter? Like, have you had a farm there now? Working away, or...? No, it's my... Uh, I wasn't there, no. Oh, is it first call? What is it going on here today, Stephen? Uh, we'll have uh, Peter up today doing these feet, a few cows. It's developed problems there over the last few weeks. Uh, you know yourself, a lame cow is not a productive cow. The milk lever, the pressure lever, if you suck on the calf, this cow here has got a calf on her. Uh, it's not a good thing, the milk started going in the calf, started to get left behind. They can say yeah, Peter started doing a feet here this year, this crush here. You see this yourself there, them cows laying in there as happy as Larry. They're not fighting and getting on, kicking and straining and pulling the back legs up on them. It's the first time we have had that kind of crush of out here. And whenever you see how content your cows are, because at the end of the day it's for the welfare of the cow as well. Uh, no, 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 I wasn't, I'm not trained in doing that, and I think. It takes about a pound to get a cow spit done, but as I say, when it comes to the productivity of that cow, if you're going to hobble a bite here with bad feet, it's a big expense. Can this fella here to come and sort her out now before that goes to grass, because we have that much out ground away from here. In the summertime, if we have a lame cow, we have a problem, because getting her sorted, you know, setting that up, yeah, you can take a, a generator, we've done that in the past, but look, logistically, you want to get the cow sorted before you go out, so there's nothing lame at all, nothing we overgrown feet there. Peter's up, gets a sort of, and say hope.
job again. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's every time I see someone lifting the mobile phone, it's say especially if you've been out and you know someone has a cold. Me or John, 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 John sneezing and then he takes the gear out, you're thinking, that nose is just going all over that screen, like. But I'm the same, so. And none of us wipe it, like. There's not one person that gets out of the way from wipes that, like, after it's finished, like. It just doesn't happen. Uh, so my wife doesn't wash his hand after that. Uh, <laughs> 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 Right. Would you fancy doing this before the grinder was invented for them? Can yeah. I play our brother a cards game and see who wins the farm? Yeah. I just say to him, like, listen. <laughs> game of cards, like, Jack change it, can sort out anything, like. And do you have a website or you word of mouth or what way do you? Well, yeah. Is it something you'll do in a few? Would you, would you think about having? Um. I don't know, I guess. But it's a business thing, I just. Yeah. I don't really need to. Too much advertising. No, I'm happy enough to get enough to do. It does me, like. Alright, there's a mat. Oh, yeah. Explain to me what that was there. What's that? That's how sometimes shots is added and then extra. There's nothing much story on your own. Not really much you can show about it, so you show when the bank's full. Try to get hands on and get dirty. And that's Brian working at the back of the game. I'll be able to sell that walk on. I think that kind of rounds us up. It's always a worry, see when you come out to film here, you always think, you know, you always think you have enough, you think you've got more than enough, and you go back, and there'll always be something that you go, oh, I should have got that, but it's the nature of trying to capture it as it's happening. I mean, the guys are, who's coming right now, I've never seen a cruise like that before. So for a lot of time too, you don't, I don't, I, I certainly don't know what I'm coming into. Um, that's why I've got to rely on Alan, kind of, giving me pointers and guiding me that way, you know. There's the nature of the beach too, like, and we're not able to maybe be doing a lot of movement, so I'm sort of a little bit more static. We need them more cutaway shots. Because when you do go home, you don't want to go, ah, uh, I don't want to go this, that, or the other. Yeah. Like, we need to try and cover all bases. Or the static shots, it just looks, they all look the same. Yeah. Like, there's nothing as bad as looking at footage, and it just being exactly like every other shot, you know, so, um, that's where the, the running aim comes into play, you know, it's great too. I'll always be scared of the wife. Uh, always be scared of the wife. Like, there's, no man I, there's no man I don't know that I don't have a fear of his wife. Uh, Especially the police. Thank you, Has anyone in ever experienced that across the back of his legs? Why not? Listen, well, Jillian got Stay me Stay here long enough. Stay here long yes. enough. Are you a witness? I might not have a police thing. this time. But I got a slipper. In the city we have slippers. Oh, <laughs> right. oh. And, a, and a slipper. Don't forget, I was trained in the slipper and then progressed to a stick. <laughs> Shake them out of the town. I'm alright to right go into your kitchen. Of course you are. At least the rain seized off. But ah, I yeah, know. Fog. I'm doing the things that I thought I would never do, you know, when you first come here and then you see something and you go, oh, look at that. I'm, start, I'm slowly turning into that person. If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button to get notified the next time we release a video. If you enjoyed this one, give it a comment and tell us your favourite moment. We read all our comments. And finally, if you're feeling generous, give it a thumbs up.